How you doing? My name's Hugh Stewart, and this is my 2003 BMW M3, and I'm gonna take you for a walk around. course with our Koenig Hypergrams. 18 by 10 and a half for 295s all the way around. It's a square setup. In order to put these on the car, we had to machine these front fenders. Reshape them basically from the factory shape so they're a little bit more bulged than the uh, factory, but that's how we get 295s on 10 and a half. So if anyone asks, they don't go on a regular M3, but they will if we modify it for you. So here we have factory hood with track spec hood vents. The hood vents actually help quite a bit on keeping the heat down. We put them on the car and we noticed the uh, temperatures, especially in the hot days, would probably drop about 10 degrees our water temps. So these are well worth the money. Here we have one of our famous splitters. High Speed Motorsports makes these splitters in-house. Uh, we make them for different cars, different series, because the splitters are different from one series to the other. We race in SECA T1, where the splitter has to be completely flat. It has a minimum clearance of three inches to the ground. We can't have any tunnels in it. Some of the other cars that we build, we have lots of tunnels and lots of other aero stuff under here. They all look similar on the outside, but they're very, very different. So I'm gonna show you under the hood. We'll start out with the basics. Things look pretty normal, but they're far from. We have an air box that we make in-house. It's got a big K&N filter on the inside. We've got Turner underdrive pulleys. We've got a completely built motor. It's got Shrick cams, it's got aftermarket valves and springs and pistons and rods. I can't give you all the specs, but I can give you an idea. It makes a lot of horsepower, close to 400 at the wheels. We run uh, aftermarket radiators to keep things nice and cool. We run aftermarket oil coolers to keep the oil temperatures under control. We have a Moroso expansion tank. This is necessary. The factory plastic tank explodes frequently on these things and we just, you know, we don't want to have those issues or reliab reliability problems with race cars. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we run MCS three-way shocks. We have our own safety cage that comes all the way through the firewall to the shock towers. All right, so now I'll tell you a little bit more about what's going on underneath these hypergrams. We have StopTech C43 brakes. These are huge, big brakes. They're amazing stopping power, absolutely amazing. Some of the things that you can't see, we make our own control arms, tie rods, and bump steer kits. That stuff is all proprietary, made at high-speed motorsports. We've been developing this thing for more than 10 years and multiple different platforms. We've done it on here, we've done it on SRT4s that we ran in World Challenge back in the day. We've done it on Volkswagen Jettas that we've also ran back in the day. We have composite doors. Very nice, very lightweight. We run a side exhaust. It's a three and a half inch exhaust. It's all stainless, it's from Vibrant. On the other end of this exhaust is a set of Epic Motorsports headers. We have a safety cage, all made in-house. We have extra gussets in the safety cage to keep everything nice and rigid. We run a carbon roof to keep the car light. We have Lexan windows. Again, we've massaged the rear quarter panels to hold our 18 by 10 and a half hypergrams. And of course, on the back, we have our StopTech C43 kit. We have an APR wing. We have a composite trunk. We run LED lights just because they look cool. They don't really serve a purpose. <laughs> we make our own mounts for the wings because in SECA, the wing height is very critical. They won't let it be above the roof and it can't sit back too far. So we make all these parts again in-house. All right, so I'm gonna show you. This car is about 2,600 pounds by itself. It's one of the lightest BMWs that we've ever built. In order to do so, we run a very small, very lightweight battery. We have some other parts back here. We have trophies, I think, from the first race of this year that we still haven't even pulled out. This was first place at Homestead Raceway. We have a pair of these. <laughs> Just sitting in the truck. <laughs> sitting in the truck. In the back of the car, we have a limited slip differential. It's got a 450 final drive gear, which is not a normal gear. Most people can't even find that. We had it made for us in Denmark. We also run an OS Geiken limited slip. We have upgraded sway bars. We run Eibach springs. So here, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what we have as far as controls in here. 
we run a shifter. It's called an IRP shifter. It's attached to a standard six-speed transmission from a Z4M, not the one that came with this car. We actually have three transmissions for this car. We run the six-speed manual. We also have a six-speed sequential that we run on occasion. We have a five-speed dog box coming from Europe. It hasn't gotten here yet. Hopefully it'll get here soon because we want it for the next race. Uh, going through this, the transmission is attached to a clutch. The clutch is a twin disc, very small, very lightweight. It's made by JB Racing. Uh, it complete flywheel clutch, everything probably weighs around 13 pounds. 13 pounds is usually the weight of just someone's flywheel. This is the whole assembly, the pressure plate, the two disc, the flywheel. It's very, very lightweight, very, very difficult to drive. We go through our aim dash. Our aim dash is connected to a camera that goes on automatically. The camera, if you can pan back and see it, it's in the back of the car. The minute we get over 35 miles an hour, that camera turns itself on automatically. As soon as we come to a stop, 10 seconds later, if we haven't started moving again, it shuts itself off. We still have the factory cluster here. The factory cluster is here mainly just for the gas gauge, and plus the BMW kind of needs this thing in this in this circuit to keep everything running happy. When you disconnect it, the computer doesn't really like it, so we leave it there, it doesn't really bother us. All right, so that was a quick look of my 2003 BMW M3 race car, and thanks for watching this, and uh, hopefully you can come out and see us at a racetrack, or you know, watch, watch us on YouTube. There's a lot of videos of me racing on YouTube. Hopefully I'll have a bunch of wins this year, but Thanks everyone for coming and watching this video. Take care.